Hello YouTube friends. Um, I've decided that the elevator, or not elevator, rudder, this part, rudder, is compromised. And I'll show you why. This is, of course, the apprentice that crashed today. As you notice, it's already repaired. Fixed. I used epoxy, and the white stuff you see on there is drywall compound. I used that. But anyways, let's get back to what we're looking at here. As you can see, this rudder is toast. Bent. So, I am going to use dollar store foam to replace it with. I had, first thing I had to do was remove my navigation light, LED light, and get to the end of it. There it is, red. Anyways, that's clear. I'm going to undo this part, take this whole section off, make it out of dollar store foam. So, um, let me take this off and then we'll get to the next step. Rudder is removed, as you can see. Now that sits in a plastic channel, as you can see here. And what I've got to do is I've got to get it out of this plastic channel and then I'm going to use the dollar store foam, make a pattern and of course we've got to hinge it and we're going to use the flight test method of hinging so that it's shaped like a V on one side there's a notch taken out so that it'll be bendable but not fall apart alright, um, take a pause and I will get the dollar store foam Okay guys, as you can see, I got this piece off. It's not easy. Use a sturdy knife, run the blade between here. Let me go get the knife and I'll show you exactly how I did it. We're walking, we're walking. We're walking back, we're walking back. Okay, what you wanna do, too close. This part stuck in there, right? You take your knife, and you slice it up underneath the edge cut away from yourself get your mom and dad to do it if you can't do it if you're too young to be handling knives have dad do this for you or mom but if you work it on both sides you're gonna break it loose that bond in there will let loose as you can see that channel is nice and clean and it's gonna be ready for this part I'm going to do the dollar store foam. So I'm going to trace this out and we'll go ahead and get ready to cut it. Okay guys, as you noticed, I used a blue marker so that you could see it better. And if you look along the bottom, you can see where, as I was tracing this out, that the, uh, the original was bent. It was bent like you can see it right here. See it's bent. I was having problems with it going straight did you get a nice straight edge so I would recommend when if you're gonna do this take a ruler there you go and check that edge also notice that was not straight so check that with the ruler make sure you remember that this is your uh, where your hinge is for your rudder and uh, don't forget how you're supposed to make that so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and then I'll jump back on again. Does that look familiar guys? Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and put the hinge in now. So that will be ready to be hinged. So it can do its thing. And then I'll have to trace out where this goes. And then if we want to get creative, I've got some red clear plastic tape. And I can add this stuff in if I feel like it. So we'll see. We'll see what I want to do with it. All right. Next thing I'll do is cut my hinge. Okay. After cutting it all out and cutting your notch in, make sure you glue your hinge with a little hot glue. To make sure that your hinge is nice and uh, tight. 
I don't think I cut it right, but you know what? It's good enough for who it's for. Don't forget to make your holes or where your hinge, your uh, control rod goes through. Don't forget to put that in there. And now I'm going to do is cover it with some white packing tape. That'll give it strength and make it look better. You can, before you do that, is you can bevel these edges along here to bring them to a point. And you're probably going to have to do that along here in order to get it back into that white piece that I can't find right now. But, um, one thing I forgot to point out, make sure you have something under your project when cutting it. Don't cut it into the table. Okay, guys. Um, what I've done is sanded the edges to a point. That's what you should always do on this stuff. And then what I did was took hot glue and run it along the edges and then take a piece of scrap, cut a V-shape out of it. You can see all the glue. Scrape it along those edges like that. Take all your extra glue off that seals your edges down and it'll make, a, make it a lot better. And then when you lay your white tape or whatever tape you want, decals, whatever, over this, um, it'll make it weatherproof and you won't ever have to worry about this getting wet so always do that whenever you work with dollar store foam uh, if it gets wet it gets ruined so always remember to cover it with something and uh, edges should always be done with hot glue okay okay here's my tail piece I just did a red fin in the back and then a stripe on either side it's not perfect doesn't matter, doesn't have to be perfect, just has to work. It will look better than nothing. And it didn't cost me anything but the red tape, which I already had around, the white tape I already had around, and the dollar store foam I already had around. So I'm going to finish this up and show you what it looks like at the end. Well, there you go. It's done. Not perfect, but it's all set, ready to go. And don't mind the messy counter, but that's just how it is. There's the other side. Obviously, that tape shows. I'm going to have to do something better than that. But there it is. Done. And it should fly just fine with what's on there. If you get back a little ways, it looks just fine. So there it is. Uh, dollar store foam. Fixes your broken tail feathers. And you'll be flying again in no time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.